You have my gratitude. This place is covered in snow, too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. Things have become so peaceful lately. I finally feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inaba are thinking about the events that transpired and are making an effort to make the town better. I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. It would seem that they're trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. But as time passes, everything fades away eventually. Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so, wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake that caused those bad memories in the first place. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength, but people make mistakes because they get set in their ways. But after meeting you, I feel as if I've found an answer to these doubts. I feel that as long as you can find something precious in your heart, something to protect, you'll be okay. And as long as you have that precious someone, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for a better future. Of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can for them too. This isn't just about me. I draw my strength from everyone else. They keep me alive. I've never considered things like that before. And of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all my other friends. Thank you. Really. There's a new power budding in my heart. I wonder if this means that I'm still capable of change. I'm going to keep learning from here on. And as long as I do, I can always change. That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you too. Love is frightening. It often brings out a part of me that I wasn't aware of, but no matter how I may be, you will accept me as long as I'm not deceiving myself. And in turn, I want to stay true to myself so that you will continue to love me. Oh, I'm sorry, you just surprised me. Um, <laughs> I'm the one who brought it up, but now I suddenly feel embarrassed. I, I love you too, forever. to leave. 
This is good. Yo. Uh-huh. All right. I can still do it. This is for you. All right, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, well, I quit pretending. Mm hmm. What? Thanks, man. Really?
Thanks. Oh, Sensei's home. Yes. Yeah. He must have wanted to live more, huh?
Thank you. I'll see you again. It's been a while since I last talked to you one-on-one -on -one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. I caused you some trouble, too, with that message, Juness. <laughs> Do you mean that? Or are you just being nice? Well, whichever it is, you're really something. Back then, I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the store manager's son, and on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. I thought no one was thinking about me. But that's not how I feel now. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one constant in my life is that people rely on me. I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but... I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it helps me try harder. When Nanako-chan was kidnapped, didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? Come on, at least say I helped a little. Oh wait, you're right. I wasn't thinking much when I said stuff like we should drop Namatame in, huh? I guess I wasn't so reliable. In any case, I tried pretty hard at the time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve the case. But mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. When we were debating dropping Namatame into the TV, I was just seeing red. I was so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests. But if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. I'll forget what's important, and I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want the people I care about to be happy.
Is this for real? There's a lot I'm grateful for from this past year, but the biggest thing, I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense into you. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? That makes no sense. We're talking about if you start screwing up and your punches hurt. I'll never lose my way if it'll keep me from feeling those again. Welcome back! Honey, I'm home kisses. Oh, don't be so shy. Smoochy, smoochy. Come on, please. Th that's mean. I'm sure Nana chan wouldn't be so mean. Today's the day Nana chan comes back, so I've been practicing hard to greet her. Oh, I know. Sensei, what does it mean to glomp somebody? I found that in one of Yosuke's books, and I'm pretty sure it's romantic. All right, I think I get it. I'll give it a shot. Hey, I've got a whole little show to go along with it. Let me show you. Nana-chan! ooh -hoo, You're a shining star! Come home well and well! Come home! Hey, I'm back. Um, I interrupting you? Here too. Nanachan, you're all better. Easy there, Nanako. You don't want to get hurt again. Nah, uh The doctor said I'm all better. <sighs> well, she's been so strong this whole time. Who am I to argue? I owe you a lot for this, so I've gotten us a fancy dinner for tonight. Look, we bought sushi, and it says premium on the package. That means it's super fancy. I call the Harami and Kohara. Okay, well, I was able to say hello to Nana-chan, so I guess I'll be going now. You're going home already? Now that you're home, Sensei won't be lonely anymore, so... Plus, I'm... Not a family member. Sensei, so I can stay here? You're Big Bro's friend and my friend. Friends can stay here. Right, Dad? Don't worry about it. It's just sushi. We're celebrating today. Pops, I'm such a lucky bear. than usual. It did cost a pretty penny. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, that's good stuff. Mm. Big Pro, I love sushi. It's so good. Oh, shoot. I forgot to ask them not to put wasabi on it. Here, Nanako, I'll scrape yours off. Which do you want? Maybe we should have split it into separate portions first. No! Oh, it's so good! So good! So good! Yo! Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so... I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Um, I want to give it to Ma. Well, you strike me as a chick magnet. I thought you might know all about what women like. I am... Begging you, I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Stop teasing me. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, you've changed. She said, your father and I are proud of you, son. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. And she says she's proud of me. I mean, I... I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just, I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right though, I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's going to be proud of me. Still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. 
So I'm going to spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I, I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. <laughs> It'll happen sooner than you think. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> If we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Yeah, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? Oh, welcome back. Congratulations! Congratulations! Welcome back, Nanako-chan. Thank goodness you got better! Thank you. I feel great now. I can go home and live like normal. Right, Big Bro? Yeah! I can go to school and help out around the house like I always do. <laughs> I think you're even more energetic than before. Man, am I glad you're okay. When you went missing, I swear that was the most scared I've ever been. Plus, uh... Um, I don't really remember what happened. I'm sorry. Nanako-chan. Yosuke? You need to practice not sticking your foot in your mouth. I mean, seriously. Sorry. You can't blame her for not remembering. It was the same for us. Besides, it's better that she forget. That's right! Nanako-chan is better now, and that's all that matters! Oh yeah, is Dojima-san coming by? Dad, he went to work today. We'd just be bothering him if we asked him to come here. We're supposed to be celebrating, not having him buy us lunch. Because I'm sure that's what he'd do. Nanako-chan, aren't you bored just sitting and talking here? No, it's fun being with everyone. There's plenty of snacks, too. Nana-chan, let's go see all the food tasting stands. The kind ladies will cook you anything you want right in front of you. No, they don't. I know they're always yelling at you. What about Tag, then? You run around, and then these scary guys come after you. It's so thrilling. That's store security. Heck, your whole idea of fun is just pissing people off. And no running! 
That'd be fun to play hide and seek in a store this big. Hide and seek? I'm good at that. Both the hiding and the seeking. Oh. Big bro, did you come find me? Wait, that's... Monaco-chan, do you remember? Not really. But I remember everyone coming for me. You are all cool, like those heroes on TV. Nana-chan. <laughs> I was able to become Nana-chan's hero. Don't cry, Ted. I'm, I'm allergic to people who cry. <laughs> I see. You remember. Then let's do it for reals. Juness, hide and seek. Really? Is that okay? We still have time before the special announcements. Plus, there's no need to run in hide and seek. If I tell my manager, I'm sure he'll let us use the electronics section. That's my boss. I'll be rooting for you when you write your apology. If I get permission, then I won't have to write one. This is so exciting. Nanako-chan, which part do you want to do first? Um, both. All right, winner gets meat. Why are you betting? None of this makes sense. back. Yo. Hi. been trying not to think about it all this time. But I finally feel like I can face reality. No.
I wanted to give it to you. I really want to thank you. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Delightful. It's so huge, so wide, so salty! Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Wow! The winter sea is really cool, too. Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! Sensei, why is the sea so huge? The world. I know what that is. It's where everything is, and everything in it is connected. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things, feelings that make me want to cry, how the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand. And I don't know what I'm gonna do from here either. But 
I've decided that I'm gonna do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. That's why you too, Sensei. S sen sensei! <laughs> Because you're going away soon, I want you to know, Sensei. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you understand this tremendous love I'm professing? <laughs> But I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time I can be your Sensei. came out I'm an all new model now Teddy version 3 or is it 4 maybe I should study counting first oh but even though I've entered my independent phase I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me I'm not that independent yet back.